Hi, everybody. Uh, my name is Dawn Kostorf. I am a deputy minister for the Pisces ministry, and we're talking about divination. And one of the ways that I use divination, one of the methods that I use is the OM. Um, just like the Hebrew letters all have different meanings, uh, the OM is actually the primitive Irish letters that were used on stones, on tombstones, as well as uh, stones that would mark a field. And each of these letters um, is a hash mark on a straight line. So here's examples of them. And each of these letters has a name, just like the Hebrew letters. And each of them has a meaning. A lot of times people look at the OM and they think, oh, it's the Celtic tree oracle. That's what everybody knows it as because most of the letters have a tree that is particularly that letter. Uh, for example, this one is Dar, and Dar means oak. Um, but the OM is not just the trees, although there is some tree wisdom in there. The OM is also about action and movement. And so when you do a reading with the OM, a lot of times it tells you what actions to take, what qualities you have, and what you can use going forward. Um, it is rooted deep within yourself. Anyone can use the OM. Uh, you don't have to be Irish to use it, but to know the lore and to know where the OM comes from, is important. Just like you have your tarot book, uh, the OM has a lot of misinformation out there. So I would recommend that you find a good source like uh, Erin Rowan Laurie's book, Weaving Word Wisdom, is an excellent book where she did lots of research into the Irish lore. And then you can use the OM uh, to find your own wisdom deep within. So a lot of times people ask, how do you read with the OM? And the way that I do it, I usually have my clients reach into this lovely bag, almost like the crane bag, if you know that myth. And I have them basically think of their question, um, because divination is all about connecting to spirit, as well as connecting to, I need help and guidance with what it is that I'm doing right now. So I have them think about their life, think about the question that they want to ask, and then I have them reach into the bag because I find it's very personal to have you reach in. And I ask them to pick out nine of the staves. Each of these guys is called a stave or a fee. Um, and then I have them place them. I usually do nine staves, just happen to grab nine staves. And this is a tree of life reading. Uh, where we have the roots of the tree, so this is what you have that are your strengths, which goes into your trunk, where you are right now, and then your leaves, where you're going to, what energies you're sending out there, and what you need to be reminded of. And a lot of times they will parallel each other, which is really kind of cool. This reading was developed by Mickey Muller uh, with her Celtic Tree Oracle cards. Uh, and then these little guys are like the extras. They're called the acorns. They give extra wisdom at the end. Um, but you can also just, um, if you are need some advice right now, I would recommend that you just reach in and you grab one. So I'm pulling one stave out for uh, divination for the week. This one is gort. Gort means ivy which is also the verdant green and growth of the fields. Um, and so I will take this, I'll place it on my altar, and I will contemplate it. I'll usually do that for a week where I just have that out to remind me of what it is I'm looking for this particular week. So this week would be growth, uh, tending to your fields, and, and uh, understanding that there is change and movement. So that is the OM. Uh, and everybody uses it in a different way. Um, some people like to use the staves, which is the wood ones. I had these ones made specially for me out of each of the woods. 
but you can also just use index cards and write the letter on the index card with the definition in order to uh, connect to them. I do teach a class on the OAM for the Temple of Witchcraft with my partner in Ritual JT. Uh, we both are Irish obsessed and we enjoy teaching and bringing you in so that you can see what the OAM is all about for you. We try to do it once a year. So look for that in the late summer, fall. Um, and I hope that you find a connection to the land and to the trees and to the spirit as you are called.